guys, we are currently sitting in front of Kmart because we are going to be doing a Kmart gift exchange today. Basically, if you don't know how it works, we are going to go into Kmart, go our separate ways and buy each other gifts that are related to these prompts here that Tyler is going to read out for you guys. So we've got favorite color, a book they should read, something that reminds you of them, something they need. What do you need? You need Jesus. <laughs> something they can't go without. Wait, I'm still trying to recover from that. Something they can wear. Something you want them to try. And my personal favorite, a mystery item. Mystery item. I'm a little bit scared for that because last time you really got me with the sour warheads. I don't know what I need. I feel like I'm going to be really bad at this because one... I don't know your favorite color. Yeah, that changes a lot actually, so... Nothing reminds me of you. <laughs> Maybe I'll find a nice looking trash can. You remind me of you. Oh, I feel like I know you, but you've changed so much. I feel like I don't know what you need. I don't know what you want to try. Like, what do I need? But anyway, so we are going to go into Kmart, go our separate ways. Tyler's going to be filming on his phone. I'll be filming on mine. And we're going to take you guys along with us on our little Kmart journey. So let's get into it. <laughs> stuck with what to buy Tyler. I'm actually not too sure what to get. I'm, my brain is blank right now. We're off to a good start. Gonna look for Shelly's favorite color first, since it's at the top of the list. Yeah, for saying, I feel like that green color. Okay, so I'm having a look in the kids' toy section because I wanna get something funny for Tyler for the mystery item, but I'm not sure what I should get. I want it to be something funny though. they have got flexible road tracks. That's cool. He does like Marvel. This could be funny. He likes Marvel. I have no idea. Still got an empty basket. I'm absolutely stumped. I have no idea what to get for Shelly. She's uh, very hard to buy for. I've seen a lot of cool things for me, so I feel like this would be easy for him, whereas I'm struggling a lot right now. Like, I don't know. Oh my God, I thought that, I thought that was a person. So she's got a hand towel <laughs> as the color, and you know, she can't go without her antibacterial wipes. So. We'll see how we do. Okay, so I'm kind of struggling for favorite color, but for a while there, Tyler wanted to do like his own little garden and plant little chilies and herbs and stuff. I feel like this blue watering can might come in handy. I don't like the handle. That's kind of an ick, but I feel like it's not a big deal. Like it's a blue watering can. I'm gonna keep it in my basket just in case. And if I don't find anything else, this will be his favorite color. Okay, I've changed to a um, pot instead, which I think was a little bit closer to her favorite color. Other than that, I don't think she um, would have been too happy with the hand towel. Don't know if embroidery is Tyler's cup of tea, like, but look how cute this is. I would love that. I keep seeing things that I would love, but I'm really struggling with what hobby I should get Tyler to pick up. Two seconds later. So Tyler's always wanted to do streaming. He did it for a little bit there, but he stopped because of our internet. But I thought that this vlogging starter kit would be really funny to like, tell him to get back into that hobby because otherwise I have no idea. I don't think he wants to get into like embroidery and stuff. This whole time I've been saying hobby, I meant something for him to try. We did have a hobby prompt, but we canceled it out. So I've had that in mind, but something he can try is the vlogging kit. I think it'll be funny. Looking for a book for her to read. And I think I found a good one. There's not many left, but 150 little ways to make a big change. I think she'll like this. There's so many cool books here that have to do with plants like look at that one and like this one's on clearance i love it so if tyler was to get me a book i hope he gets me a book based on plants because i'll be super happy but i'm curious to see what book he wants me to read i bet you it's something stupid i found a mystery item i don't know what the fuck it is but it looks hilarious only 15 bucks too i've just spotted tyler We've just run into each other. He was in the kids section too, so this is gonna be interesting. I had to go to the uh, kids section to buy her socks because her feet are tiny. I'm just gonna get her socks to wear. Plus I always pinch her, so it's probably a good idea. Tyler said he needs track pants. And I don't know what size he is anymore because he's lost a lot of weight. So I don't know if he's a medium or a small. I found some better trackies. I don't know what price they are, but they're so much thicker and better, so. I've walked around the Kmart store about eight times now. And I still can't get two things. It's something she needs and something that reminds me of her. So, we're in Struggle Street here. Tyler just texted me asking me what I needed. Stop cheating, Tyler. That's not allowed. It kind of reminds me of Tyler. You know, he's kind and he's a good boy. I worked out what reminds me of her. Huh? It's not this. I wanted a, um, like a net to put over like your picnic stuff. Keep the flies away, but I can't find one. So this is the closest thing, so might have to do it. Okay, so I think I've had a big brain idea. Something that Tyler can't go without is his cordial. He loves cordial. And I already own one of these, but he's always emptying it because he's always drinking it. So I'm thinking if I get another one of these, it equals to him not being able to live without cordial and he can create more cordial. That's my big brain moment. I don't know, but I'm gonna go with it because I'm struggling. I'm out 
us of Kmart. I'm waiting for Tyler now. Okay. <laughs> All done. Finished. I think I did pretty well. Although I was stuck on something that reminded me of you for like the longest time. For like 10 minutes, I was just walking around being like, oh my God. Yeah, I don't think my something that reminds me of you is very good. I'm excited to see your reaction to the mystery item that mm. I got you. Because <laughs> Yeah, that was the same. My mystery album was bang. As soon as I seen it, I was like, that's a mystery. Mine's only a small little bag. We'll start with favourite colour, I guess. We'll start from the top, work our way down. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, it's I so did get funny. it right. A watering can? <laughs> what the fuck do I do with a watering can? No, okay, so my thought process was you had your little herb garden there for a second with your chilies. And, yeah. stuff. and you didn't have a watering can, you were using a plastic bottle with holes on the top to use. So I thought you'd get back into your watering can antics. <gasps> it's cracked though. Is it? Yeah, look at that. Yeah, on the inside. <gasps> Probably happened in the car, you know. Anyway, she got a cracked pot. I got a cracked pot. A book they a should book read. book they should read. Okay. I'm so nervous about this one. You got the book? Yep. Okay. Should we take this in turns? Yeah, you go first. Go. Okay. What book should I read? I don't really have a reason behind this, but... <laughs> Winner winner bin chicken dinner. <laughs> it's just about Ibis. Yeah. In a dirty old town on a busy old street, struts a fine feathered bird with leathery feet. I thought it could be relatable because uh, you're like a bin chicken. <laughs> That's literally him. Well, the book I got you to read is actually I was thoughtful. And I got you a little book on self care. 150 ways, ways to, to make, make a big, big change. change. That is so cute. Open her up. Let's right. read the first Random one. Random page. That's it. Meditate. Deep breaths are like little love notes to your body. I've been meaning to meditate, actually. That's really thoughtful, Tyler. I Think want good. you to read that bin chicken book tonight. All right. I'll, I'll read you a bedtime story. I can't Come wait. On. Something that reminds you of them. What did I get you for this? Something that reminds me of Tyler is Pokemon Card. I feel like I've mentioned at least five, six times that Pokemon cards are Tyler's obsession. If I see Pokemon anything, anywhere, I'm just like, Tyler. Oshawott, Scyther, Bronzor, Avalor. Oh. I'm gonna show the camera what you got. You gotta get up close. What reminded me of her? Only because the other day she mm. said something about covering food to not let flies on it. And I thought when we go on picnics, this happens quite often. So, I got Shelly this. Accessories not included. Wait, what accessories? A watermelon, I think. <laughs> Ooh, I actually really like that. That's really thoughtful. Thank you, Tyler. That's right, knuckles. Thanks. Knuckles again. Where do I put this? It's huge. It's nail. Hey! Something they need. Since I'm always pinching them off ya. And I think you needed them. I got you socks. Wait. I got her socks, and guess what? She probably got me socks too. <laughs> because you're always stealing mine. You got me better socks. <laughs> yeah, what are these? I got you kid socks. What? You do realize they what? um they have sizes for me in the adult section. They're nice and snug. Thanks, my love. Something they can't go without. My mindset was, you've already got this. But I thought you could have another one to increase your consumption, you know? Mm. Do you have an idea, maybe? No. I got you another jug. <laughs> I explained this in Kmart, but you cannot live without cordial. You're constantly like filling it's this up, free. leaving this on the bench to like refill it. But I thought if you have two, you can like kind of- I don't of... have enough cordial to fill. No, you have plenty of cordial. Now yeah, you've bought me a total of two jugs. Why? A watering jug and a cordial jug. I just had jugs on my mind, obviously. What could Shelly not go without? Because I spent a bit on some other ones. I cheaped out a bit on this. And you guessed it, it's antibacterial wipes. What? Since you're a germaphobe. Oh, I see. You can't go without antibacterial wipes because you're always wiping stuff down. Right, these are great. I love these. These are going in my car, like right now. <laughs> the next prompt is something they can wear. I've got two things. Two? Yeah. So this also kind of goes with the something you need, but I thought that the socks would be I better. I need the socks, yeah. yeah. So you've been talking about wanting some tracky pants. Tracky so I got pants. you some tracky pants. You know, there were so many different varieties of tracky pants around, but these ones seem to be the most thickest, like best quality. Like they're really soft, they're really nice. Should I put them on? Yeah. So yeah, I thought that Tyler could really use some tracky pants because he's always complaining about how cold it is. And he's also, huh? he also steals my tracky pants all the time. Oh, they look good. Are they comfy? And plus great tracky pants on a man. And then, this was kind of on a whim, but I thought that you could go 
for a nice long sleeve. Well, it's kind of, it's a sweater actually, but you could use it as a long sleeve because it's mm. thin enough. It's recycled polyester, so it's successful. You're welcome. So I got a sweater and tracksuit Yeah, pants. you got comfy stuff. You got comfy socks. Stuff. It's good considering it's winter time now. Yes. I like that. Oh, oh, damn. Oh. I'm a bit nervous to see what you've got me to wear. It better not be boxing gloves again, I swear. No. I I'll leave it to this for a while. Oh. You're always nicking my shirts to put on. Oh, come on. I like your shirts. A gorilla shirt. <laughs> That's sick. Oh my God. It's Russell too. I don't know if you guys know, but New she York? loved gorillas back in her teen days. It's Murdoch. As if they have these at Kmart. I, that's actually sick. Oh, I feel hip right now. I feel like a band girl. That's actually sick. I'm actually really happy with that. It's good. I'm wearing this to bed tonight. It's a favorite gorilla song. I have a lot. Do you want like my top 10? Next one is something you want them to try. Originally, we had in the prompts a hobby that they should try or a hobby that they should pick up, but we scrapped that prompt, made it something that they could try. But in my head, I still had a hobby that they should mm. pick up. So I got you a vlogger starter set. What the heck? Why are you looking like that? Literally like a five minute craft. Yeah. Just throw this stuff together pretty quick. Now, all of a sudden we've got a problem. No one uses an ox. I only got one of these holes. Hey guys, got the, got the flog. The flog. <laughs> got our setup here. Now we're in the studio. Got this sick camera gizmo. <laughs> Heartbroken by your reaction. There. Wait, hang on, reset. Okay. Oh, thanks, Shelly. I love that vlogging stuff. Something you want them to try. I've seen this, and it's. It, oh. What is that? A macrame wall hanging craft kit. Is that a monstera? And it's got a little monstera leaf oh. on it. Like this, I'm in my grandma era with this. I'll just be sitting on the couch, like. Like, like you can hang in the bathroom or whatever. Like. <gasps> on our toilet door? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a toilet door thing. Stop it! Mystery item. I'm the finale. Scared. I'm kind of scared. Oh, you're going first? Yeah, I'm going <laughs> first. I'm terrified. I got you this. This is that? <laughs> I'm going to knock someone out with Maximum this. Maximum waistline, 1.2 meters. Yo, my fly's been undone this whole time. Oh, that's alright. Oh, that's what I thought. Oh, Holy my God. This looks like a fucking spine. <laughs> it's a saw contraption. Alright, stand up. Oh, man. We'll put this back a bit. I feel like a kid that's right. getting strapped into it and She's got the right. weighted hula hoop on. Hang on. I'm gonna stand out of the way. Oh, it's how you hoop, Shelly. I don't know how to hula hoop. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking insane. Alright, right, it's on. Go, Tyler. Show us your move. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that rhythm. Look at that. Look at that. So the mystery item that I got you, I'm a little bit scared about because I hope it works. You need your phone for this. So I got you a AR Dino World. But hang on, look at the side here. So you dig, you assemble, you design your own, and then you get the AR experience on your phone. What did this cost? It was on clearance. I can't imagine why. I have to dig through a phone brick. Couldn't give me a worse tool for the job. We could probably just take it outside and break it on the concrete. Alright, let's do that. Alright, All right, so we're outside. Drop it. Yeah, I love archaeology. Huh? She's kind of sick. I can't be bothered with the app. I think that's as far as we're going. Look, I've got a statue T-Rex now. Put it next to your work of art down there. Where? Your little art sculpture down there. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. It's just one of the birds. I thought that went pretty well, considering we did our last video two years ago. I think we've grown. Yeah. If you guys like this kind of video, do let us know by liking and subscribing down below, because I had fun. Yep, I had fun too. That sounds it was good. <laughs> no. All right, so we're going to clean up this mess. It's pretty gross in here, so we're going to be doing that for the next half an hour. I will see you guys in my video next Sunday. So, bye.